Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and here we are in the Pathfinder Solution Series and I've brought forward to you two problems from check your understanding section of momentum uh, chapter. It's about spaceships and rockets. So first one is about a spaceship going into a cloud of dust and uh, time taken to pass through it as the dust sticks to the spaceship. And the second one is a rocket efficiency problem uh, which generally bugs the students and some of the students have been uh, requesting me to make this particular video in the telegram group where in the efficiency answer they're doubtful about the key so let's try to see whether the key or the solution uh, answer given at the end of the book is correct or not okay so here we move on so these are the two problems check your understanding 24 you want to give it a try pause the video have a try for two or three minutes and do come back the second one is this one so we'll go in sequence check your understanding 25 the expression for the efficiency of propulsion okay right so before we move on to the solution i would request you to actually go through the uh, other video that i have already produced on the variable mass system at this point of time right so this is an old video um, in chapter 3 objective type question and the chapter 4 build your understanding 39 deals with conveyor belt problems where the sand actually pours in and out of the conveyor belt a nice little concept that is very important for JE advanced has been discussed there and so link of this particular video is in the description below or on the i button so please do check it out if you are new to this channel okay so let's start with the formal wording of the first question a spaceship of mass m with its engine of moving in free space with a velocity u okay enters a cloud of uniform density rho and length l the particles forming the cloud strike the spaceship and stick to it how much time will the spaceship take to cross the cloud? For simplicity, assume the spaceship to be a cylinder of circular cross section S. S is the circular cross section here and L is the length of the cloud. Okay, so I hope you have picked up those things from the reading of the question. So let's move ahead with the solution explanation. Okay, so a lot of things on the board as I keep saying try to follow my lead instead of reading the solution on your own. Okay, so uh, we are going to use, there are many ways of solving this problem. You can use the force method. Uh, you can use the Merchewski equation from the Iridos uh, theory book, right? So where you calculate the thrust force and integrate. So I have taken up a method of using conservation of linear momentum. All of these methods actually boil down to the same uh, final steps okay so there are you could say different uh, physics principles uh, pointing towards the same maths equation okay so this is the initial picture that i have tried to draw here left side can you watch it so there's a cylindrical spaceship i have used v naught here uh, for the initial speed they have used u so i've changed it for my convenience and uh, i'm assuming uh, to watch it at a position where the spaceship has already entered the uh, dust at a distance x through it okay so i would now take a system which is mass of the entire spaceship plus mass of the dust particles in this x distance that it has consumed so if i draw that x distance mass in the original diagram it feels like an invisible cylinder here so in the future uh, this cylinder is going to eat up this dust particles okay whose mass i can write as density into volume which is rho a x a i have changed it for the uh, cross section here they have given s i have changed it to a okay right so you won't mind the parameter changes so for me the mass of the system for which linear momentum conservation is not m alone on the m actually these dust particles will apply a force so i can't conserve linear momentum so i take m plus rho x to make sure that net external force from this movement to this movement is zero on the system Okay, so what is the initial contribution of the momentum or in this picture? Only cylinder is moving, that's part of it going nowhere. So this would be mv naught plus zero. Whereas in this instant, already the dust particles of rho ax have got stuck to the original mass and they are moving with a new velocity. That velocity, I can measure it as rate of change of this position because this line you could say is a fixed position. Okay, right, that's the start of the cloud, that's not moving anywhere. So the rate of change of X, I could consider it as the velocity of the spaceship at that particular instant. Okay, so this is a X versus T relation. Why I wrote this DX by DT? Because he's requested us to calculate the time calculation. Okay, right? So DT, I'll send it to this side and I'll try to integrate from zero to capital T where capital T is the required duration for crossing this length L. 
okay on the right hand side since dx remains i have to integrate m dx and rho ax dx from 0 to the length l of the cloud simple m is a constant m comes out and here also rho a comes out this would become an l square by 2 this is l and i send this mv not down to get the value of capital t so i've written it in the form that is given in the textbook the textbook it is written as l divided by u and here it is instead of a s so it's the same thing okay hope you got this one on your way so let's move to the second one this is more interesting um don't um uh, leave midway because I'm going to give you the pro practice problem at the end of this uh, on a variable mass system. Okay, so in rocket propulsion, the kinetic energy imparted to the burnt fuel as ejected gases is wasted as far as propelling is concerned. If at an instant V is, uh, is the speed of the rocket and U is the speed of the ejected gases relative to the rocket, develop a suitable expression for efficiency of the propulsion. Okay, right. So he's talking about two important things here. The U is the exhaust speed, uh, speed with which the gases come out of this rocket with respect to the rocket. And also he's saying that kinetic energy imparted to this burnt fuel is considered waste. Okay, and he's talking about efficiency of propulsion. If you read these words carefully, then you'll not make a mistake. He's talking about propulsion. What is meant by propulsion? Propulsion is giving it a thrust or a push. Okay, so that is considering it as the important aspect here. Okay, so I hope you have given it a try. Let's move ahead with the solution understanding. Okay, a lot of things again on the board, just follow my lead. So if you are the engineer designing the rocket and you are supposed to provide the efficiency for the person who is buying the rocket, you have to tell them how efficient your rocket is. Uh, efficiency is always decided in physics for any process as output that you require divided by the input you are giving. Again, I repeat, output that you require from that process divided by how much input you are putting. So similar things are done even in thermodynamics also, output by input. So what's the purpose of exhaust gases? The purpose of exhaust gases, if you carefully observe the ship, okay, right, or the spaceship or the rocket, uh, as the gases come out, they apply a thrust force in the forward direction. Okay, right, um, imagine at any dt seconds, delta or dt here, that's why I've written dm also. So this dm element of gas comes out with a relative speed of u. Therefore, with respect to the rocket, if it is u speed, then with respect to a stationary observer, actual speed of this gases would be v ship minus u. Okay, because u is in the opposite direction, v ship is in the forward. That's why the minus sign comes into picture. And also uh, the thrust force in the forward direction would be dm by dt into u. The same thing has been explained in that variable mass system problem that I asked you to watch the video for, okay? So dm by dt into u. Now, um, this thrust force needs to do work on this particular rocket in order to push it or it has to deliver power. That is the requirement. Requirement is uh, the rate of work done on the rocket by the thrust of exhaust gases. And rate of work is also power. Power in a one dimensional situation is this force, red colored one, multiplied by the velocity of the spaceship, okay? Right, that's this value of V, this dV is negligible, okay? So F into dV, and F has been already trans dm by dt into U, multiplied by V. This is your requirement or required power, okay? Now, what is the waste? According to the question, he says, the rate at which the Ke of the gases is developed, right? The burnt gases, how much Ke you are developing, is going to go to waste, okay? And that rate is half dm by dt and not u square. Please understand, you're trying to calculate the value in terms of the ground observer or rest observer. So that's why this v minus u whole square. Now you got the requirement, you got the waste. Therefore, efficiency is required by total input. That is requirement plus the waste that you're uh, unnecessarily getting. So I've just substituted those numbers here, here, and here. dm by dt can be canceled. You can bring this two up. And at the bottom, you'll have u square plus v square, and you'll have a 2uv. To be more precise, in actual practice, the value of u would be very large compared to v, right? So in case numerical values are actually taken into account, in the denominator, u will be a very high value as compared to v. So you can even ignore this v square for suitable expression. So it would not be even wrong if I write the answer as 2v divided by u after ignoring the v square in the denominator, okay, right? That is for a numerical purpose. So 
especially if the rocket is a, a starting from rest or initial stages where velocity of gases are very, very high. Okay, so that's why we are leaving the answer as it is in the textbook, it's a correct key. So before we go to the practice problem, for the new people who have subscribed to the channel, welcome to the channel. Uh, you can do much better uh, by taking a look at the video that I have developed for launch of a website, which has been done recently. So uh, there are certain advantages in the website, uh, which the channel may not offer. Okay, so I have uh, just developed a video, which is there at the starting page of the channel right now. And um, also the link of it is in the description below. So for your perusal. Uh, two main things that I would say in the website are, the first thing, all the playlists are arranged for this particular YouTube channel, whatever are there, they're arranged in much more subtopic manner. So you can check that one out. I've explained it in the video and also the problem sets, uh, which are um, for the major topics, some practice problems have been discussed. Okay, so uh, you can download those problem sets from the website. Okay, so can please go through that. Right, here's the practice problem I promised. Okay, I'll answer this in the AITS select series appeared in, I think one of the reputed institutes examination, um, I think three or four years ago, and my students were writing it and found it slightly difficult at that point of time. Now, most of you will be able to answer it. I would love to see your comments for the answers along with the timestamp. Okay, so please make sure you answer it along with the timestamp. Okay, so that I can respond in the comments, whether you're doing it right or not. If many people struggle to answer it, I'll definitely answer it in the upcoming AITS Select Series. Okay, it's comprehension with three questions that follow. Okay, right? And other social media presence that I have already discussed. Okay, so it's mandatory to get the publicity. That's why I've joined them. Uh, but if you're a serious JE aspirant, please do stay away from them. Already YouTube itself is a distraction. Uh, you don't want to three more distractions from Facebook, Instagram, and Telegram. Okay, so do stay away. Uh, and uh, please connect with me if you have time. Okay, I'll be putting up some problems in each of these platforms, maybe uh, once or twice a week. Okay, so that's it. And uh, just follow the rest of the series that are being uh, uploaded in this particular channel, apart from Pathfinder Solution Series. Many series are there. You can go and check it in the playlist uh, and try to explore the channel if you're new, 200 plus quality videos as, as far as I understand are there and they will definitely help you in preparing for your uh, JE ad, advanced examination right now uh, in a streamlined manner. Okay, so please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and to spread it in your student community so that more like-minded students do come and discuss good physics in the comment section. Okay, so uh, thanks for staying this long and see you in the next video.